as natural as it is while I drink my coffee. I was thinking, what should I record today? Because there are so many things in my mind. So I thought I'm gonna speak about the reality that it is for you to live a religion and to be the unicorn outside the religion. What do I mean with that? Um, of course, there is the both sides. There is the side when you are still in the church and then you decided that you don't like some things there that you don't agree, either you don't like or it's not your thing, that you are mature enough for you to choose your own things because before your parents used to choose everything for you. But then, uh, we won't, we, we, I'm not going to focus on what it is to be on that position. And when you say, you know what, I really, I don't feel like um, going every single day to church. I don't feel like living inside the church. I don't feel like uh, giving my money to the church. I don't feel like, I don't know, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, whatever it is. Because that brings a completely uh, shock in your reality, which is, I think is Dark Knight of the Soul for sure. And you see yourself without any friends, without any family. Uh, no one supports you. No one uh, brings good... I don't know, release of you all, choose your things, go study, do something for yourself or do something like that. They all actually want to just uh, not be involved. But we are not here to focus on that. I'm going to do a video about what it was to be a bishop's daughter in a very, very famous church in Brazil, which is all over the world. But anyways, I'm here actually to speak about what it is to be a unicorn. What is the unicorn? The unicorn, in my point of view, is that soul, is that um, body that uh, survived. Survived what? The own mind, which the horn brings uh, clarity. So, uh, to survive your own mind not having anyone to support you no one you knew before no one you don't know you you don't know people you you start new but you start new already old sometimes some people live with 50 years old i was 30 31 when i left when i not left but when i decided this is not for me this is not the place that i want to step my feet on it and I want to support, because this is not the support that I think is right. So, once you step outside, it's a completely change of perspective and reality. I never had any contact with taxes, just for you to have an idea of what it is for you to be vomited here. I do apologize for my words, but that's exactly what happened. You just, you live in fear from one place because people, they threat you, people, they show you the true faces, family, I mean, A, B, C, D, all in the name of God. And then after you go through that, you go through hating yourself, you go through hating others, you, you go through hating God, you go through hating everything. And then, oh, I can breathe now. Finally, I can breathe. And then you look here in this world and then you have taxes to do. That's, that's unbelievable that I never, I never had to do that before. Uh, and then you have different words. You have music. Wow. You guys don't hear just Amazing Grace? What is this? You have proper music? You play Eminem? What is this? Oh my God. I know this uh, shock that we normally, we don't really realize what it is to be, to have a friend or to meet someone that just came from this, I don't know, fucked up mind. Um, because it is, it is. Um, unfortunately, is it is. If it was just one thing that you... You praise the Lord and then you give thanks and then if you want to give money or not and ABCD. But there is the whole system behind it which makes our mind to completely... I want to die. 
I don't want to stay. I don't want to be in a, a place, a city or whatever, without my family, without my everything that I learned so far. Oh my God, devil is with me. I am full of demons. I am not, I'm doing everything wrong. And then you get ill because your mind is not working properly already. It was never working properly because we don't have this pleasure of building up the mind. It's just um, making you active on giving to one beneficiary, not everyone else. So the thing that then you get uh, ill and then you try to recover. I, I got very ill. I got um, I lost my kidney. I am still healing. I'm still trying to heal because this never finished, never finished, but it will gonna finish. Or my name is not Pee. <laughs> Pee -pee. So it's, it is, uh, I'm trying to make fun of it, but uh, it's not fun at all. Uh, this is just a message, a quick one. I'm gonna go deep into it and I'm a bit, uh, a little bit upset. You can see on my face, huh? But um, what why I'm upset about is just the fact that I see so many other people. Like I am in the UK at the moment, and some some um, I see Indian people. I see I see some other countries coming here, Bengali and everything else, and they are completely overwhelmed. And what makes us overwhelmed? with happiness we're gonna talk about it and we want to hear the song again and we want to share but then we want to share and we don't we don't have the same vocabulary that you have we never had the experience of being outside a church being outside a religion being outside something so we become this mystical thing which no one believes us no one can believe a person literally never, never heard about taxes before. That is impossible. You are a liar. You are a liar. So from having demons, now I am a liar. Oh, what a change in my life, right? And uh, I, tried, I tried for some time to be friends with people to really firstly being friends like uh, messaging and trying to share my things because everything for me was new everything it was like wow <laughs> i'm literally having a new opportunity for me to to learn music to be around musicians to hear this what is this sound this is amazing but uh bullying is real and people, they really hurt you for not uh, understanding who you are or your intentions. So it ends up, it ends up in um, a Tom and Jerry uh, relation, but uh, where one of them is very mean, is very mean and it wants to hurt you. People, they do stuff with you and uh, makes you just go to enclosure. You don't want to see anyone else. You just want to be not seen at all you want to hide yourself you want to uh, you want to go back to where you are but sometimes to go back to um, a place where religion takes over it's kind of uh, accepting that you're gonna die because uh, in many places uh, marriage is forced I was offered to my husband when I was 15 years old by my own parents. And uh, yeah, that's shocking. Oh, I don't even know if they do that now. It's been six years now. But yeah, so it is something that happens, guys. And who can say that oh, you are wrong or you cannot do that if we just blind ourselves and uh, everyone that try to come and to do different and be different and i don't know to share experiences we just kill them we just say like oh you you don't belong here i think people bullying others for them to be kind I see, I see ugly stuff. I see, I see blood. 
but my hands are still clear. And as a unicorn, which I am the only survivor in my family, I am just here to ask everyone else that uh, sees a child, a kid, or uh, an adult, someone, a couple, whatever it is, that you understand that they come from a religion or there still is a religion, for you to bear in mind that uh, it's completely different. Uh, it's different reality for us. You don't have to be mean or to think that people, they want to get to you, or they are faking or A, B, C, D, just because you don't understand their language. It's time for us to be human and understand each other, to communicate more. That's why we, we, we see so many people like depressed and anxiety is real, panic attack disorder is real, people getting ill, properly ill. And that is all because we don't have any support. And you go to and you go to government and you go to people and you say, you know what? My brain doesn't work with this word. Because what what is outside is, is the same inside, pain as well. It has amazing things as well. But at the same time, uh, it's lacking a little bit of understanding. Because it then, it then people, they never had the opportunity to go and choose something else for themselves. Because why, why would my family, for example, choose to come outside and try something, sorry, and try something, excuse me, if they never really, uh, if I never made it. If I, I have, like, uh, people, they steal from you. <laughs> they go to your account, they use your name to do dodgy transactions. They, they take things from you, which you never thought was possible outside, because I'm outside now from that place. No one will gonna touch me and try to forcefully touch me, because I'm not there anymore but then the support that we have here is completely unhuman it makes us want to go I don't know to disappear which is not my case now I have been doing well I have been um, I have been uh, slowly slowly understanding a little bit more about what it is to be a human <laughs> Not only a fiction, fictionary one, which I have been my whole life, but I, I cannot stop crying. I cannot stop uh, thinking about so many people I still see going through very deep things, being blamed by serious things, just because they are different. <laughs> so it's time for us to wake up, to have uh, love, where is your love? Is your love just for that person that can do your taxes? Or can uh, have a car to go take you there, A, B, C, D? But what about that person that would die for you? Because you represent something blessed. Every single human represents something blessed. And we don't give opportunities and chances because we are limiting who can have access to what. And we keep blaming those who have... Uh, it's just those who have money. Those who have money, they take over and they make us poor. It's not, guys. It's not. I'm sorry to disturb your reality. But the reality here is not... You cannot point, pinpoint to one person, to one group and say that they are the fault for it. It's not. Because we are all just doing the same. We are just ignoring people. We're just like, uh, oh, you don't you don't dress uh, sexy, so you are uh, A, B, C, D. You don't, you don't want to wear makeup the whole day, so you are uh, such a weirdo. Yes, I am a weirdo. 
I am happy to be called psychotic for having visions. I'm happy to be called a uh, weirdo for being myself. I'm happy to be called, I don't know, fake for giving my heart every time. I don't, I, I am okay with that. I am okay. But are we the ones killing? So many, it's a mass killing that we are doing. And this needs to be stopped. Pay attention to your surrounding. Go after your nose. Not, not only here. Look a little bit further. It can be anyone. But don't, don't, don't bully people. Stop laughing at people. Stop making them feel horrible for not being around those who they grew up with. Some of us grew up with pain, with rape, with uh, things that we don't want to be around. So why here we are calling the same thing for ourselves just because they deserve it, because they are being ABC. ABC, your mind, open your mind. It's not your eyes that you have to open, it's your mind. It's very limited if you keep on going that way. Yeah, this is my message. Mind our unicorns, because I'm sure I'm not the only one. I haven't found, I haven't found anyone yet, but I will. And I'm sure uh, there are more people around. Big kiss. Have a good day.